wake up, start smoking a spliff. <coughs> start choking this shit. Eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch. But I don't trust a soul, so the toast is grip, the clip fly and I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? That's what I happen to You don't add to the roster. I'ma subtract your flaws. Let's divide the workers for the boss. And that's why we're not seeing this equal. I had to do my Please. homework in the Come trap. Uh -huh. While I move my own work in the trap, mm -hmm. I really was around pins and needles. Oh! I don't I don't believe you. Fuck it. Let's settle the score. Forget my wins. My losing record is better than yours. Bounce. 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 This nigga's a whore. The door. I got this ball. I ain't gonna freeze up, cousin. You get bound, drowned, and cooked. Ground down the dust in his back like I was booked after we smoked something. Put your powder in the air like the CEO coming. Okay. Ah. Shout out to every single one of the subscribers that notification gang got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bah! Oh, and none other than St. Louis owns Mr. Check the Temperature. What's up, my guy? What's good, my boy, man? Yeah, yeah. How we yeah. feeling, man? Trenches, oh, anniversary. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This bitch got no. Get him the I fuck out. I got notes. Oh, that nigga got notes. What time yeah, did you go to sleep? How you got notes? This nigga got notes. Don't be looking at my fuck, Listen. yo. This nigga's out. We had a long day. All right, all right so <laughs> the ride was um, great, though. Let me, let me, let me. Let's let's start this off, man. By first of all, shout out to the city of Philadelphia. Also, make sure y'all subscribe to Mr. Check the Temperatures channel. You know what I'm saying? His YouTube channel talks about a lot of the same shit that we do. A lot of the same shit that everybody else Our does. But, you know, it's always good. Right. <laughs> then, then he be talking about shit that I don't even have time to. I don't even fuck them niggas. I don't even want to hear that shit. So you want to hear some good shit? Go check him out. Oh, that's my brother, dead ass talk too. Yeah, 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 yeah. My you know boy. What I'm um, shout out dead ass talk. But let's get right to that, yeah, because he was doing all the videos and shit yesterday. Shout out to him. Yeah. But let's get. <laughs> right, so the topic in here, I don't like to do no cut, no chase. Some people, they want their shit straight there. You know, sometimes people mm. be having things to do. They want this shit right fucking now. Okay. So here's the deal. Av versus Hollow the Don. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was a battle that Av has been pursuing for quite some time. He has been pretty much letting people know that he was on that level. Some people thought he was, other people thought he wasn't. They said when Av gets into big name battles, he either brings a flow that people don't feel like and get him to the next level. He battled Tay Rock as the main event on Summer Madness, yes, and that was a battle that you know people pretty much forgot about. Mm -hmm. I ain't holding no cut. But when Av is in these bullpen circles, these smaller circles, these trenches events, you put mm -hmm. damn near anybody in front of him, he's probably gonna come out with a win. You know yeah. what I mean? He doesn't lose rounds, he doesn't take bars off, he's gonna have impactful haymakers, and he's gonna pretty much beat you with a bat like a pinata to all the candy falls on the floor. Yeah. So Battling Hollow the Dawn, I get, I'm gonna just you know, give you my quick thoughts about it. I pass it to you guys, and we'll take it from there. Be honest, man. Hollow the Dawn came into this battle where people were, you know, I know people, especially yourself, were thinking, you know, he could bring it to this room, his flow could catch on, mm -hmm. and I don't think he did bad. I'll be honest with you, I don't. You know what I mean? I don't think he did bad. But in this particular battle, Av to me, every single round, pedal to the metal all gas, no brakes, and it was punch after punch after punch after punch to the point where I was like, damn, I got damn near was able to walk away and come back and have a shit. Still punch it. He was like, I'll be back. 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 Because I got a text that you know, I had to go talk to handle some business shit, and I left and came back and missed like a good 48 second clip, and it's like, oh, oh. Still in the same faces. Temp, we'll swing it to you, man. What's up, man? How you thought about the battle? What you thought about it, man? Man, I'm proud of my dog, Av, man. Av, this. Av and someone been on my channel a couple times, man, and we definitely yes, talk yeah, about it. Yeah, y'all do be, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah shout out to nah, Av. I'm super proud of my dog, man. He had a hell of a year, and this is two grudge matches down in 2024. Got the Rosenberg battle out the way. He got hollow. And, you know, some, I think you had a saying, sometimes you may ask for what you want. You may not want what you get. Well, yeah, you may get what but sometimes you, you get exactly what you yeah, want when you ask for it. And that's it. Yeah, I'll be watching y'all a little bit. I'll be watching y'all a little bit. Sometimes you get exactly what you want when you ask them for it. Ab asked for this battle, and he delivered, man. He wrote up all three rounds, and I'm just happy for my dog right now, for real. Show sure, what's up, man. Yeah, I did. What What do you think? Why, 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 you, why you had to see? Why you had to see? Your man got drugged out of film. Why does everybody in a velour, do this to me? In a velour body bag. I know he was hot. It's okay. I know he was hot now. Listen, all right, all right. Couple things. Let's get that out the way, all right? I do recall us doing. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Hey, what's the cost? That was fine. That was fine. 
Why? Basically, a pair of boxes. Because they really be gun crazy. Uh-huh. Like, niggas just coming home blowing up my phone for some gun plates. So think about something safe, baby. Because I can have niggas still in a halfway mm-hmm. spin, like a 180. Damn. And all they know, mm-hmm. all they know is dropping clips, bro. Uh-huh. Them niggas' products on the block, 10 toes around the clock getting dope. Buying Glocks to the proper wrist load. No car, so they chasing a Jaguar like a Pocalypto. But this oh, oh, that was fire. Hey. Uh, hey. No car, so they chasing a Jaguar like a Pocalypto. But this move, I'll catch him on the main ass. Oh. Yeah. The tech. I be spitting every round like what? Wayne Ave. The mm. tech. What? My hair. The desert turn is black to Eagle Street. I'll wait. I ain't Ab. Bro, let's take him to BR. Let's see if Ab is brave. He walked like he got an S on his chest. Well, let's see if Ab gets saved. The only blood we like you with with surf. The only W is Ab with the wave. But now he EMP. We used to see Ab with the game. In predictions, and I said, I got Hollow winning this battle. If he don't do the extra stuff, like the slick talk that he does, the way that the punches work, the in and outs, mm-hmm. that's cool. But for the Philly attention span, for the Philly niggas in the building that was there, ain't nobody trying to hear that, ain't nobody trying to catch it. And that's exactly what happened all three rounds. The only round, and I mean the only round that I will say, all right, I'll argue one, and it's the first, because I did, I feel like that was the most Hollow had. Hollow was the smoothest, he, was the, he had more shit. But the problem was, Ab went second, and that was a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because now this is the last thing we got. Well, no, no, Ab, Ab, no, no, no. Ab went first, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ab, no, no, Ab. no. Hollow went, went first. Hollow went first. Right, he had the headphones. Up. Correct. What the fuck, and yo, he, yo? Come he on. Had the iPod Stop that headphones. bullshit, yo. He didn't have iPhone. He had the iPod headphones. He yes, was, he had the fucking he had wire the, joints on. Hey, he took but the, they wasn't connected to nothing. It was, I swear to God. <laughs> The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like, disrespect. That's so it wasn't connected to nothing. He had the velocity. Yo, listen, no, listen to what I'm saying, yeah, son. Now that nigga's not listening to me. The nigga started the rapping. Shirt. The nigga was rapping with the headphones on that wasn't connected. Because when he started rapping, his joints was, the, the, the cord was hanging down. But I said, he just ain't connected to nothing. <laughs> so halfway through his verse, he takes him out, throws him on the floor, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, this nigga had headphones that wasn't connected to nothing. When he wasn't, I knew he had, when I knew his headphones were connected, I knew he was gonna lose. Cause he I started, said, he started going shit. crazy, the cord came out of his head, and, and fell on the floor. So, Lord be the right. name. But that was the that was the first round. I think once the once the iPod cord fell, yeah. that was when his round fell too. It fell too. Mm-hmm. So now, cause I do recall when after that round we looked at each other, he was like, yo, Ab might have to write up. Which lets me know, okay, I'm not bugging. Hollow might have edged that first round. Second round and third round. Put that boy in a body bag. I'm gonna just go ahead and hold the little baby. <laughs> Yeah, you dropped that. You dropped you dropped the ball on that one. Now oh, we all with that being said, I will like I said, I will <laughs> eat the mutton, I will eat the crow, or whatever y'all wanna call it, cause yes, I am a hollow fan. I wasn't the only one in the building as a hollow fan that was upset. Shout out to Gina and shout out to Mark. Y'all was just as upset as I was. Mm. But for that being said, I mean that does nothing but I uh, uh we as the media, right? Our problems is always talking about the negative and never upping it. That's why we started off by giving Av his praise. So now let's continue to give Av his praise. What is next for Av? What is the next thing for Av? Because Av is a, he's not regular. He's above, he's above the tier. He's a, hey yo, he's That's above. Hey, you heard what he said, you heard what he said about that tier. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the top, the top, the, listen. All I'm saying is, the, the, right there for, for Av, I need to, to be that high risk, low reward, 
how do you or who do you give him? Because it does not matter who you give him, we're gonna get the same ab. It just depends on if that ab works for that venue. Now we're looking at how he looks in a, is he gonna work on a big stage? Because Ab vs. Rock was a big stage battle, but people forgot about that battle. But the ones that we loved the most was what? Ab and, uh, 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 damn it, what, uh, and bullpen, bullpen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you're talking about Clone. Ab and Clone, thank Ab you. Clone. Sorry, but I'm saying, when you had those, and not to mention, how Ab beat up on Rosenberg Raw, we was there for that. We seen how Ab can work in these small rooms. So for Ab being a, such a, a powerhouse of a battle rapper, it seems like we gotta keep him in these small rooms. But give him that competition in these small rooms. Well, first of all, get a hollow battle. battle rap financial situation is gonna keep everybody in the small room. So we ain't gotta worry about that. Y'all can't run right. from Ab in them mm -hmm. small rooms. No. You can't. You can't. There ain't no space in them small rooms. Them pit styles mm -hmm. is you and Ab. Mm -hmm. There's very few people that can stand in front of Ab right now. You know what? When I say niggerosity, it's levels of niggerosity. Mm -hmm. This is how you know when you're in the shit. Cause you see niggas that's above niggas, like you look up and mm -hmm. there's niggas above you and there's niggas below you. So like with Av, you know what I'm saying? When he battle in them rooms, he can shake the crowd of the people that's above him. Yeah. That be on the little stage joint and the people that's on the floor too. It gets really crazy. Like for Hollow, um, I expected more dynamic material. Uh, he started well, you know, Something that I told that, mm -hmm. so I went with the old ad. Like, with, with it. the old ad, like that was fire. And then he had a lot of good ad flips in the beginning that were good. Some of them were cool. The C Av leave the cave. I heard that in other yeah. battles before. A lot of shit like that. Heard. So, but it comes from Hollow being one of the most legendary battle rappers, but no longer a student of the game. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like he's watching the requisite tapes and seeing the battles that Av's having to hear of some of the. Oh, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? to see some of the, you you have to watch battles that people have against him mm -hmm. to see right. the things that they've used against him. Hello, so you're not using battle. battle. You know what I'm no. saying? But the Av, I don't think Av. There's a certain because Av flips so well. That 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 uh, it's ten thirty one Halloween. That's some shit that surfs it like twelve years ago. Your yeah, Halloween ain't playing. Mm -hmm. Like this comes from the studying of the material. Mm -hmm. But I don't take anything away from either party. Mm -hmm. I just feel like in that scenario, that circumstance, and in them rooms, it comes with experience. Av has battled in one, two. Is this his third trenches style battle? Is it second or third easily? He yeah. battled. Uh, he's battled on Chrome at least three times. He battled official. He's battled Rosenberg. He's and battled this one. Three. And did he have another one on Chrome on trenches too? No. This is his first that trenches. Was that was. His, uh, there was Rose. a set. That was well, because Av and Rose was was a Chrome battle. Okay. Yeah. Because oh, that so was Miami trenches. Okay, so Av's trenches battle was was, was this. One. Okay. Cool. 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 But Av don't, regardless of the fact, Av don't. under the same umbrella, yeah. man. I don't know. <laughs> it's a conglomerate. I'm about to say, the water, is, he, is the water hitting his umbrella? No. Long story long, 30. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yes. pretty much what it was. I mean, it was 30. I mean, yeah, it was the. Now, like I said, I will I will fight the first, but at the same time, I'm getting jumped. So, yeah, 3-0 to, uh, to Av. Okay? How about that? It goes to more so what if you watch the totality. Mm hmm. Even if I have the first round, if I wanted to debate, yeah. the way the second and third went, I don't yeah. want to debate That's exactly it. How you it. Exactly. It goes backwards in retrospect. Like, well, thinking of it yeah. now, like he said earlier, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm good. But what else? You I don't want to be the one. The well, actually, no. He no lost. What else you thought about it though, though, Tim? No, I really think the biggest question right now is what's next for Av. Mm -hmm. um, Av is someone who said that he, you know, what I'm saying, he's ready to do different things in battle rap. He's ready to transition to his next phase mm -hmm. um, in battle rap, so he doesn't have very many battles left. So whatever he, whatever it is, I hope it's something that he wants, and I know it is gonna be something that he wants, because he's only taking battles that he wants at this point in time. Right. Mm -hmm. So everything that he takes right now is gonna count and it's gonna matter. And again, like I said, for those who care, for those who care, I will say this, champion of the year. Looking real interesting. Yeah, it definitely got shook up this weekend. <laughs> After this weekend, yeah, it got shook yeah. up. Um, so as far as uh, Av and um, as far as Hollow go, like mm. does Hollow continue to battle in the trenches or does Hollow, you know what I'm saying, take, take a step back with somewhere else, you know what I mean, like what's up with him? Hollow stays where he's at, it's just right now he's in that, uh, he's in that, that late mook phase. He, like, like we, yeah, we're excited to see him on the card, it's nice to see him on the card. But his performances within the past year, because I can rewind it and say, hey, he battled ill will and had one of his best performances. So he ain't that far and few in between. It's just right now he's in that, 
you shitting me stage. But just being a nice on the car, I don't think it's gonna be enough. No. I don't think it's gonna be like he at this point in time, his his name is start it'll always sell tickets because mm -hmm. always gonna have an interest. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's gonna be enough to actually keep us entertained, keep us focused in. Okay. Just keep him, keep us focused in on what he has going on. Again, when you have all these up and coming stars that are going to be giving you so much talent, especially coming out of a platform like the trenches. Yeah. And I was going to say uh, to, to uh, caveat what he says is, um, Hollow as a name, as a person, as a price point, is way too much to have battles where he's clearly losing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like battle rap is battle rap. It's subjective. It's quantifiable. However you feel, I can watch a battle. He can feel one way. I can feel mm -hmm. it one way. You have a healthy debate on it. It's mm -hmm. good. Serious Jones versus John John one. I can easily do that on. Mm -hmm. You can't be a twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollar guy that jumps on cards Thank and is having battles that I clearly can say you lost without even having to take no fucking notes. Yeah. That's, a fact. That's the problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because either. you have people that are coming along. Like, well, why wouldn't I give Tex a shot? Why wouldn't I give Riggs a shot? Why wouldn't I give another deserving MC mm -hmm. who's gonna cost a third of what you are? And they're all gonna show up and be hungry. You know what I mean? So it definitely makes me it doesn't make you take away from hollow what he's done legacy wise but it does when you're planning and scheduling the next one like would you bring him back for the price that he cost i mean i don't know you know what i mean now like i said no disrespect to hollow he had decent material mm. but he battled ab and he is one of the victims of circumstance when i say things like who goes first mm -hmm. ab goes hollow goes first he had good material it wasn't bad yeah but ab goes second he drops that yeah it's like oh shit now you gotta go third yep. and we're thinking about what ab just did yep so now when you go second and then ab goes third as in the third rapping against i'm still thinking about what he did in the first Especially round so when the rebuttals don't it start, yeah when the rebuttals and things like that it takes away from it a lot but uh mm -hmm. It was a phenomenal battle, and overall, the night. Uh, I we'll, we'll get into some more battles in a second. I want to start there. Um, how did you rate the night? Scale of one to ten. In the building, in the in the fields, because like I don't know how the stream was, because that's a different feeling. In the building, I was at an eight. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I other than the AC, the that was like the AC alone will knock you down two pegs. Mm -hmm. If I'm hot, <laughs> I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> but because the battles were hot. I'm not mad at the heat. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I, that that's just me per personally. Uh, if, if I'm talking about like the, the points added, is mm -hmm. no no shows. Mm -hmm. Even the no show that was supposed to be a no show, they refit, they revamped it in three days prep, and it ended up being one of the better battles on the card too. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's a point for that. Uh, another thing, food was there and available. You know what I'm saying? Whole time. I didn't, I didn't get any, but Drinks. the food was available. <laughs> Drinks. The salmon and egg rolls. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Salmon and egg rolls. Y'all niggas ain't salmon. I did. Ain't no. Salmon. Hold on, stop that pen there. I want to say salute to y'all because from being in the venue, y'all didn't get a chance to leave the venue and get fresh air. I realized that like when y'all are, when the battle is over, I'm going outside. I'm getting some fresh air. Y'all locked in doing recaps. So salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? You definitely got to take notice to that. Um, I think personally from me and my perspective, the only reason the the event gets knocked down is because of Ill Will's performance. Um, I'm willing, at this point in time, I would have given this event a 10. Mm -hmm. From where Battle Rap was at in the culture right now, from what, what, where we, what we needed, this was what we needed. We needed the event. We're not, we're not talking about a battle. We didn't even talk about Tex and Riggs yet. Mm -hmm. We didn't even talk about standout performances like Sko yet. Yeah. We didn't talk, you know what I'm saying? We didn't even get to those. So you can really talk about the event in itself, the battles in itself, and say, hands down, one of the best events of the year. I think the only one that probably compares with is politics as usual right now. Uh, yeah, I still uh, got no up there. I still got no up there because my thing is that the main event the winners. I'm biased, man. This was one of the. This is probably the best event. Of the year. <laughs> I don't care. I was on it. You know what I'm saying? That is true. We all on the bottom of the. Flight. I survived in the heat. You know, yeah, they said. You know what people said yesterday? They said not that we didn't. do was too much commentary. They said it wasn't enough. It was That's like, oh, crazy. Man, we more. I said, oh, okay. You That's know? crazy. Okay, put a little bit more in the tip jar. I'll be back again. You know what I mean? Say that one more time. Put a little bit more in the collection plate, and we can set the day. You know what I'm saying? We can set, but uh, uh, but no, seriously. And all, and all jokes aside, shout out to uh, with Temp. My 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 agreement was with his. I said it was one of the best battle rap feels as far as like the event, 
the field, the people who was there, it was some joint, it was some joints in there. The it was, was great. Look, it was great. There was some neck yeah. turners in there. Shout out to the women in the field. Uh, but uh, yeah, shout out to that. But what I will say is that um, you know, like I said, the vibe, the feeling, the the, the energy in the building, the food, even though he didn't get that, was still great. But uh, it was definitely a great vibe, and um, all the battles was good, man. So I wanted to start off, like you said, with the um, Hollow and Ab because I wanted to give Ab his admiration, yep. his props. You know what I'm saying? Props. I say it all Absolutely. the time. That Av is the reason why I started blogging. I, I've always said that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I was watching him versus none. And I don't have to say the bars that I remember because I've said them a hundred times at once. Mm -hmm. But when I saw Av in those pockets of punches that he had, I was like, yo, who the fuck is this? And there was nobody talking about dude at the time. Listen, man, fuck it. I'm just turning on the camera and talking about him. And that's exactly what I did, you know what I mean? And obviously, he didn't, he's not like the fucking ultimate reason why I got where I got, but he was definitely one of the influential people that um, I started watching. Battle, you know what I mean? Like yeah, sure. when he was battling the proving ground, I said, "Man, this motherfucker crazy!" Like his the lines that he had, and to see where he's gone from there to Rum Nitty, et cetera, et cetera, chess battle, fucking the the, the fucking skip to my loo and all that shit, and watch mm -hmm. where he's at now. It's amazing. So shout out to Ab. But we are gonna move on. Mm -hmm. Um, you got anything else on that one? I was about to say, if anything, Av is also personable because he's pulled up on Tim's show more than enough times. Facts. That's so, so, like, it's all, and then every time we see him, if we do get a chance, like, it's all love. So, Av is. But, man, fuck Av, man. Moving along. Now, I'm just playing. Yeah, um, um, Raise but, uh, no, what I'm going to say is this that, um, Moving along, there was a lot of phenomenal battles on the card. I'm gonna take it back a step to some of the newer dudes. Let's you know do it. What I'm saying? Start back from the beginning of the card, like some of the first battles that we've seen of the night. Was it Dre Majesty versus Baby James? What you thought about that? Did you pick that one? I know you did. Yeah, we actually uh, we got there during that battle. Um, I thought it was a solid battle. You know what I'm saying? Dre, somebody's been on the channel. Um, a couple of times. Just thinking ahead, everybody keep going. Yeah, yeah, no, on that channel, subscribe to that nigga, man. Keep going. No, nah, definitely. Um, Dre been on the channel. He told us this was gonna be one of them standout performances for him. So I was very surprised. Um, in his performance, he 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 showed a lot of diversity in this battle, man. man. Um, a lot of diversity. That third round that he had, so mm, real, was in the clouds. Woo! In the clouds. So I actually got him winning this. Yeah. Man. I got him winning this first and third, but I was very. Very, very same. Excited. Same. I got Drake managed the first and the third. Uh, his third was definitely his clearest round. Mm. Um, we was coming in. Uh, we was coming in the event on the first round from Dre, so we did get the majority of the battle. And then and I was asking other people too, just making sure. Uh, you know, Baby James got a lot to work on. Uh, he, cleanliness is fine. It's just material and performance is another thing that Baby James has to work on. I would say so myself. What did you think? Uh, fire, man! I was I, I was getting notes in the motherfucking building. This ain't for, I ain't get to watch it again. You know I ain't watch right all. You know I ain't watch all of them. I did not watch all you new niggas again. But when y'all was rapping, the shit was so good. I was writing the motherfuckers down. But I'm gonna watch it again someday. The nigga said he said some yo. He said some shit. Uh, he was like, I needed them free meals. That was a fire bar. Uh, uh, Dre Majesty. Mm. He said, you battled Diesel. I had Diesel. We don't rap the same. Mm. That shit was crazy. Mm. Uh, then he had to join. Uh, I would never put my name. Oh, he said, I'll be on the trenches and sign a deal. I don't want my name on nothing. I was like, yo, that shit was crazy. He said, my auntie, stop fucking with that hard. I'm in my soft girl. And I was like, yo, who is this nigga? Who is he? Was Dre Majesty. <laughs> Uh, the hook up on the trees, mm. the Bow Wow lottery ticket line. I want to cut so I can see. Say I could. I want to cut you mm. so they can't say that still didn't do it. Procrastinating was crazy. Still yo, didn't do it. bro, so it was, was yo, it was a fucking yo. That, that was, was a fucking phenomenal performance. Uh, Baby James was pretty good too, but to me, I felt like Dre Majesty mm. uh, easily two one to me. I mean, yeah, I got that. I got up? Dre too. Next battle we had. Sko versus Bo the Great, and me and Vada were definitely very critical when it came to Sko. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I thought the nigga was from Philly. I forgot that he had, he one of the most Bagate niggas, you know what I'm saying? He from New York, but he be getting the job done in Philly and stuff like that. That nigga is from Shout out Sko. Shout out Sko. <laughs> that nigga from uptown, nigga. What the fuck? He from uptown. Man. He is definitely from Bronx. <laughs> now, no. every Skull. time a Bronx nigga win, I'm happy. Skull is another one that was on my channel. Mm. Caskets or Claskets, that's what he this said. Nigga he got every fucking casket or Claskets. That's what that. he said, man. And he definitely delivered. Um, I thought Bo was cool, but I think with Skull, 
when you're when you have somebody that's getting to a punchline every four bars and you get into the line every eight bars, every ten bars, mm -hmm. it matters, it does. bro. And Skull was just in them pockets. It, it was good to, for someone who never seen him. It was very refreshing. Yes. To to see his just personality and his everything he brought to the table. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was, was fire. Yo, he said that. Yo, yo, this shit was crazy, son. The nigga said, and I ain't even looking at it. He said. Uh, he was like, he was like, he was like, he's like, we had to work, then got rid of the work, we had to rebag it. He said, then we took it out of these capsules and put it in these capsules, we had to recap it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, God, he said something about the preview. He said, I can't tell you much, but I can tell you what the read do. I was like, yo. yo. Sko, BX, we up, motherfucker. Sko, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Who's to, next? To the, to, to, the, to the detriment of Bo the Great, I do gotta say this for Bo. He definitely had more dip on his chip when he said it in his first round. He said, if I lose any of these rounds, then it's a round on me. Did you get your first? Oh, I did. He definitely made sure. He's like, hey, show. He handed me my job. I appreciate that because you can't be talking shit. You can't be talking shit. I'm like, hey. I think we ain't coming to get it. And then not to mention, after he said that, he's, he had maybe like three or four more bars. And then that's when he started to choke. I said, oh, so that round on you, huh, Bo? Yeah, that was it, huh? So, yeah, that was it for him. So, hey. When you gonna say stuff like that, you gotta okay, make sure you gotta back yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah. back that that talk up. You feel me? But yeah, Sko had every round. So you you had him win. Uh, we had Sko, Sko, Sko. I had Sko, Sko. Yeah, right, cool. Let's keep it moving because I want to give time to everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, gotta C Breed Lyricist mm -hmm. versus Zan. Shout out to C Breed Lyricist. You know what I'm saying? She definitely um checked me, made me follow her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you, know, and, 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 and you know, it's a new relationship for him, you know what I'm saying? Like, see Brie Lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on, I'm on the bandwagon now. <laughs> I'm a fan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's my that's one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real with What's y'all. What's up? I'm going to keep it all the way tall with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Being a, a battle rap analyst that I am, you know what I'm saying? I don't expect niggas to just run up on me and try to check me <laughs> and shit like that. I don't expect that. You know Yo, I'm not the nigga time, that that happens son. to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them time. niggas that that happens to. When I tell you, she was aggressive. I was, I was with the what was it? It was, it was King versus the Dropout that was happening. So Sea Breeze saw me and said, Yeah. And I said, Oh, what the f I do? She said, Yeah. What's up with all that talk now? Now it's the battle alone. Now for Zan, I gotta say, shout out to Zan. She definitely held her own. All three rounds were solid up until the very end of her third round. Mm -hmm. That's where it kind of fell short. But I had seen Breed Lyricist in the first. Mm -hmm. I had Zane clearly taking the second. Mm -hmm. Clearly taking the second. But it's that third where she kind of slipped and stumbled out the door. And not to mention, she see, Zane even rapped what she was trying to say. And I was like, why didn't I get that cleaner? Like, why didn't I get that? She might have edged it. But uh, on that camera, as far as the battle, see Breed Lyricist. So. No, I definitely had a C. Bree winning that uh, first and third. I think, again, um, when you got a battle that was just so uh, back and forth like it was in the first and the second, for me, just to see the, the small letdown with Zan, it was a little disappointing. Yeah. It was a little disappointing because I, I saw her in a previous battle and I knew how much um, she was really looking forward to this one. So, yeah. um, but. I am excited to see her again. See Brie Lyricist, somebody. I want to see her again. She battled Caution earlier this I'm year. I want to see her again. Hold on, tell Brie, run that, run that down. She, she was she on the show? She, no, she ain't, but, but she can oh, definitely yeah. be on the show. Ah, she, she can definitely be on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she can yeah. definitely yeah. be on the show. We're going to make sure we, we get, get into the show. We're going to get into the show. come over here with you. <laughs> no, battle lady caution. Uh, I'm sure. Um, shout out to shout out to Ledge, man. Mm -hmm. We gonna shout talk about Ledge because because they battle. Yeah, yeah. we gonna talk about Ledge. Shout out to him. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, dope battle for her. Right? Um, yeah, Barwars. Shout mm -hmm. out to Barwars. Mm -hmm. Um, so check this out. You know, um, being honest, um, I definitely had uh, Seabury with the first. I had Zan with the second. The third, like you said, uh, presentations the representation. You got it, it's got to be complete because mm -hmm. the thing is. You know, I you could be doing a if I'm in a restaurant mm -hmm. and they can be giving me great service, whole meal, everything's been great. If you bring out something for dessert that was supposed to be warm, but it's cold or cold and it's warm, mm -hmm. that might change the whole complexity of mm -hmm. when I'm doing them. You got to get to the signature, yep. and she didn't get to the signature. Mm -hmm. So instead of the tip being 25, you might gotta get it to 15. You, know you just start to take it. You might take a little 10 for the win. <laughs> So um, I will say dope battle overall though. Um, like I said, most and much respect to both ladies. Like I Thanks. said, I was familiar with Zan. I wasn't familiar with Seabree, but now I am. Familiar, and you know man. it is what it is. But moving on into the, the into the night, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, money on the floor. Yeah. Uh, trenches tournament final battle. I'll just give you my thoughts. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? King 
had one of the performances of the night. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, I don't have to add no cut to the product. Right. I know Z the dropout battle. He had good rounds, um, serviceable rounds, but it wasn't finals, tournament final round. It wasn't no motherfucking tournament final. Who you ran that shit by? Did you run that shit by some? Because it wasn't no yeah, tournament final winning round, there. right? And uh, the air conditioner was a thing, mm -hmm. but bitch, I'm gonna be rapping in the construction site if it's about 10 grand. You crazy, I don't give a fuck what's going on. Mm -hmm. He stopped a couple times for it, but mm -hmm. the fan wasn't doing, the fan didn't beat you. King did, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a fact. yeah. That's, that's a whole Here's fact. how I knew King came to win. Keep cooking, no, you this, good. This is a good one for you. Mm -hmm. King came up there, his shirt wasn't ironed, yeah, and he had white Air Force Ones with black <laughs> socks. Bitch, you know with <laughs> white Air Force Ones with black socks, this nigga didn't care about nothing. He's not about to play with you. He's not, nothing's patriotic about this individual. White shoes, so, black socks is one step lower than the black nasty. It's, it's, it's right there. It's right there. It's, it's, right, it's in the same lane. So let's just go. Um, King. <laughs> All three rounds, freestyles, rebuttals, punchlines, haymakers, uh, exceptional performance, didn't miss a word, didn't choke, didn't slip, didn't stumble, and he was on he was on Z from the from when he signed up for school to when he dropped out of school. I'm talking about from registration to dropout. He was on yeah. and every single judge picked King. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is a clear one. Yeah. And honestly, I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna throw it to Temp, but mm -hmm. my last thought is this. I know you you fuck with the trenches, you watch the tournaments, you've seen all of the battles, and I know you have too. Mm -hmm. The tournament final was King's easiest battle of the whole tournament. For sure. <laughs> he had a tougher time versus people. He smoked. He smoked Muwap and had a tougher time with him. You see what I'm saying? Jay he won Jay versus Jay Moore. He had a tougher time with he him. He had to judge you that know what This was the easiest one. What you think? I think for me, the one thing I didn't like about the judges. If it's a 30, say it, define it. He earned a 30. It was a 30. Just because someone fights back from uh, being down in the 10-7 round in the first, just because you fight back in the second, doesn't mean you automatically win that second yeah. round. Yeah. King was floating round one, round two, round three. Give that man the 30. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of y'all, he King, I just need King to have more of a personality off screen. I want to see him do mm -hmm. some more promo on, because now. I think he's going to get a name. I think <laughs> King, I think you are a name, a talent, where your talent, I don't want your talent to be a, a high risk, low reward. Mm. I don't, and they, they're going to pin you there. That's how they're going to, that's how they're going to get you out the way. They ain't got to battle you. They're going to make you a high risk, low reward. So I want to see more personality, which means you got to come on the show. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm First of all, that's the, the, the next stop you got to go on the show. Gotta you know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all niggas be coming to me, 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 me. I'm going to direct you straight. This is where you go. You go straight to the show, nigga. You want to talk to him? You talk to him. Go for. You, you go show. It's, it's right straight. But says, check this out, right? <laughs> Um, I want to um, talk about more what you said as far as uh, the, act, the the after battle things and the things that you need to do. You see a guy like Tex went from jail to one of the better battles of the night and mm -hmm. a lot of it has to do with the promotion, the way he promotes himself, being on different channels, running his own channel, doing interviews with damn near anyone. This, this fucking Gatorade bottle wanted to interview him before that show he would have did mm -hmm. it, you know what I mean? That's a fact. And um, for, for King, Easy labeled you the face of the trenches. The face of the trenches better not be doing less than other people are. <laughs> on the trenches. On the trenches is what I'm saying. Come on. Now that means you need to do more. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do a million views and then start doing less vlogs. You know what I'm saying? It don't work that's, like that's that. True. You got to continue to work like you're trying to get to wherever yeah. you got to. You know what I'm saying? So now for him, he needs to know that winning the tournament shouldn't be where the work stops. It should be where the work starts. You see what I'm Absolutely. saying? Like that's where you should start. Building your campaign. Calling out names. Riggs just did good over there. Uh, Tex just did good over there. I want to see one of them. Mm -hmm. Whoever's trying to go that way, mm -hmm. that's who I want to see. Mm -hmm. No matter who it is, if they're doing good over there, I want to see them. I, you hear, the people he battled already, already battled, so he doesn't do that. But guys that are doing great, I want to see them. Um, great, great look for uh, for Z to drop out. Phenomenal battle. I want to keep it moving. Um, Riggs vs. Tex, man. I thought it just. <laughs> Tex, I'll say ahead, this, man. man. Again, right, yeah, another yeah. one. Both of them been on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can honestly say this. It ain't many times in battle rap where the promotion and the battle actually meet. Mm. And I felt like the promotion, although you know what I'm saying, look cringy at times, look cringy at yeah, times. Yeah. 
they sold the fight and they sold the battle, man. And it was really one of them ones, man. Right, right, right. Really one of them ones. Riggs, that pin, elite pin status. Um, it was there. Text, I ain't gonna lie, you was a little, you was a little slow out the gate. But I will say this: texted on business. Everything he said he was gonna say to Riggs, he said that ten times over yeah. to Riggs. But at the end of the day, they shook, they shook hands. And again, that was one of the best battles I think of the year. First watch. Mm -hmm. I like to say this when it comes to battles like this I gotta watch this one again because of the fact that once you get all of the drama and all of that extra stuff and the build about the way I'm listening to the actual bars and whoever has the most outstanding bar is to me who wins that battle mm -hmm. right now I'm thinking in my head text is say we already know the the, the, the most dick ride niggas is a drop of blood costs a drop of blood costs more than a gallon of gold. Use a click hopping dick goblin. Anything for clicks, partner, fake ass blood. And you know that it's true. And it ain't just me. The whole culture noticed it too. The biggest glazers in this bitch go cola in you. I know what's in you. You know what he said. So I looked at and then not to mention his man's is right there. Like that, that to me. That's building something there. Pin-wise, mm -hmm. Riggs was the better pin. You could tell that Riggs was showing his veteran status by showing you how nice his pin was. But you also mentioned earlier, if there's a four bar setup and then there's the eight bar setup. Riggs set up to that eight, it's a, it is a hit. Mm -hmm. But Texas hitting you with a, he's hitting with a less hit, but it's every four. Mm -hmm. Still gonna have that same stint. Star power versus penmanship. When it comes to star power, Tex may have won this war, but I feel like Riggs will get this battle once you look at it once or twice. Um, I want to start here. So, so first of all, like you said, shout out to Riggs and shout out to uh, Tex. Uh, phenomenal promotion. Uh, obviously over the top at times, but uh, I'd rather it be too much than too little pause, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, as far as promotion goes and, and things like that, because we've seen a lot of battles that this battle could have been another battle on the card that nobody really cared about exactly. promoting, but there was a different energy, a different vibe in the building when these two were about the battle. The energy was all there. Riggs uh, definitely did a lot to neutralize what Tex brought as far as like uh, vocal par uh, vocal power, uh, being taller, being able to rap down and have big moments mm -hmm. and have, you know, things that people are going to say, even in his fifth battle to have quotables. I mean, your crib scheme and even I'm leaving and he has a whole crowd. Mm -hmm. I had your ass on Fox 5, Wide Fly for all around, like that type mm -hmm. of shit. It means something in battle rap because you know that you started to, when he started to say that shit, they knew that they, I'm in your crib scheme and even mm -hmm. leave. they knew it, you know what I mean? So that tells you that his vibe is contagious and, um, He's continuing to do his thing, but I feel like Riggs, phenomenal performance. I can't take nothing from him. There will be a debate for the Tex 2 1, but for the, a lot of the consensus, it's going to be a Riggs because Riggs it's really, he really, really, really showed the battle that he was at before where he was on RBE smoking everything and moving mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. when, but everything before Snake Eyes is what he showed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hit the yes. boom, the, all of that. Mm -hmm. When Snake Eyes battle, obviously, it wasn't a good battle. I, I didn't like it anyway, mm -hmm. but this right here. Definitely put Riggs back into that that conversation, whatever the conversation needs to be as far as who's that nigga on the trenches. And shout out to Riggs. And like I said, I always talk to Riggs like, I can't remember the last event that Riggs has had. Like either it's been this way that we haven't spoke. I talked to him like the day, for, the day before, the day of. Like we always, he always hits me up or I hit him up. Mm. And he definitely told me that he was focused, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, he, and it's funny thing is me and Riggs is cool like this now. We At one time, we wasn't at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, Same. So, but now, that's my man, and I was really glad to see uh, what he did. You know what I'm saying? So I got uh, debatable, but I could probably edge it 2 on the Riggs. I got to be yeah. respectful. How'd you have it? I, 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 I said 2 on Riggs, pin-wise, but I'm not mad at anybody who's saying text. You who you got? I edged the battle of the Riggs, but again, yeah, it's a, same, it's same a same really same. good battle. Like One of the battles of the night. It was the, I think it was my battle of the night, personally. Yeah. I think I have it as my battle of the, the night. It's the closest back in. Ah, we'll get into that. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get, it. get into that. All right, now, I'm going I'm to I'm start off this next battle so I can say the last two things that we were saying so we can keep it rolling. Jay Moore versus Muwap. Why is it that I did not think that Muwap was going to do a Muwap? Did versus Jay Moore. Mm -hmm. Same situation when it came to Jay Moore, except for Jay Moore earned the, the situation for Jay Moore. He just had an ill will type situation. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, Jay Moore just battled Nun Nun, Young Riddick, and he had one more. 
He had one more in between there. Uh, he <laughs> had, he <laughs> had, you talking about him? Jay, Jay, Moore. Jay Moore battled Young Riddick. He had a he had a one rounder yeah, with, uh, know, with, with none. Nine. Okay. And he had King before that though. And then he had King before that. Okay. But so far for the Miami Joe. Right. About this two months ago. So. Yes. So when it comes to Jay Moore, we now was like, yeah, we wanted to see more of Jay Moore. We wanted to see more of Jay Moore. Then we got more of Jay Moore. Now if we starting to see a couple of the cracks in the armor, and I feel like this battle was Muwap's get back. Like this was like because a lot of because Muwap was supposed to be that the the one that was the one who Easy the Black Captain was trying to push first and then everybody started to flock towards Jay Moore now everybody's flocking towards Tex mm -hmm. and I'm, and but ironically none of them niggas won the tournament mm -hmm. the nigga who won the tournament is King and I'm bringing it all into full circle for King his next battle to be the King of the Trenches he needs to battle mm -hmm. Tex. That hasn't happened. He has already battled Muwap and he already battled Jay Moore. He's already beat them. If he battles Tex, that is the real face of the trenches. So we already have the bottom of the card for there. The reason why I'm saying all of that to say is, does Jay Moore, the question I'm posing to both of y'all now, because Jay Moore has had a couple battles in in one month's time, does he need to sit down or do we need to see another elevation of Jay Moore? For, so me, for me, Jay Moore, uh, I felt like he got. He's been doing, Jay Moore's been doing this for a while, first and foremost. He's been battling for some years now, you know. Yeah. He's at least six, 16, 17 when I first seen him around. He's probably right. been around before that. It's almost 10 years in this. Mm. He didn't start getting admiration, love, and like really respecting and people saying he was one of them niggas to like the last six or seven months. Yeah. That's a long time being in something to Fresh. never really get the acclaim and, and love and admiration that you want. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what I'm saying is for some people that can become a drug. And I'm saying a drug is in a negative way. Mm. It's like you want to keep yeah. redoing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to get that yeah, high. Battle. You want to get that high again, mm -hmm. high again, high again. That's why you start taking one round is that mm -hmm. you don't need to take. Mm -hmm. You're taking one round is high. You know what I'm He's taking one round that he don't need to take. Mm -hmm. He didn't need to go battle on that one round card in Virginia. He didn't have to do that. Like yeah. the one versus Young Riddick. He didn't yeah. need to do that. Mm -hmm. Now you take that and you compound that when he has another battle. Mm -hmm. Then you take them punchlines that he used in the Young Riddick battle because he's a puncher. He punches heavy. Yes. And when you ain't punching heavy, you ain't doing shit Stretch in battle rap. Yeah. If you're a puncher and you ain't punching heavy, you ain't doing shit. Because guess what? Non-punches is dry spots. Yeah. Straight up. But when you're a puncher, if that's the style that you choose you to have use, to be you have to be punch. rum nitty, af, magic, consistent. Mm. And if you ain't every fucking bar geechee, you're going to fall by the wayside. That's mm -hmm. why it's better in battle rap to be more technical, have different ways you can do mm. because everything don't have to be a punch. Well, easy, you got the drug bars, the this, that, that. You can dip it in different bags, mm. right? Real talk. It's crazy. And then another thing I want to say, when you punch so much, when you do something else, mm. it doesn't seem like you, it's what you do. Yeah. You can't angle well. Yeah. It takes away. Now, when you're trying you to angle, cracks. you can you're see missing cracks. shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, some, I just think some of the, some of the, the things in his game, because Jay Moore is a big four bar, super punch, what is we talking about yeah. energy. You know? And it's great. It's, he's phenomenal in what he does, and I he's love what he does. Yeah, yeah. But what Jay Moore has to do, he has to not take so many battles. You know what I'm saying? Not three battles a month. You wasn't taking three battles a month when you wasn't hot, nigga. Don't take it. <laughs> Why are you taking them? You know what I'm saying? That's all. <laughs> they, they wasn't calling you that much before mm -hmm. to take no three battles in a month. Don't do it now. Now, if he took three, I don't know, but it seems like it, right? It feels like it. Yeah, so anyway, it feels like three. Um, he has to slow down, compact the material a little bit more, mm. and get back to the dope fire every other line or every bar mm. instead of like every two, three bars and then having these long, like some of his pauses be 30 seconds. Yep. And it's long, it's good, but you gotta remember when you have a long 20, 30 second pause, a nigga like King is rapping 40 bars in that time frame, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's had to make you famous. Absolutely, you're like, they bombing on you, and now you're out of pocket when you're trying to catch up. But overall, this is more about Muwa. Uh, I said Muop needed a career-defining performance. I felt like he had one last night. That was um, it. I felt like Muop had good, great catered material. I felt like he was in great pockets. I heard his, uh, his flow was the best that I've heard, and he he definitely showed that he could be one of them niggas in the trenches. How you felt? I think it was a coming out party for Muop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think a lot of people. Um, we're kind of hesitant. And then he took, he took none, none too. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, got, well, because, no, that was none, yeah, none, 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 Young Riddick. Young Riddick. And, and then he's got the other guy. Yeah, yeah, that's three guys too soon. And then he had the other, uh, he had Deuce. the Deuce. Deuce. Wait, wait, no, yeah, no, you had to be there. Damn, I didn't even know he battled. That just came yeah. out. He's he got too many oh, battles. Oh, bro. bro. <laughs> he got too many, that's four battles in like two months. They wasn't calling this nigga. They was not calling you like this, nigga. 
Somebody tell that nigga stop battling so much. I just found out we that wanting to see Jay Moore doesn't mean we want to see make more Jay Moore battles. <laughs> <laughs> that means we want to see more promo. Yeah. Let's get to know you. It, it doesn't see. mean we want to see because again you're cutting down the work. You are cutting down the stepping on. It's too much. But um, again, for Muwap, I think I feel like that was a coming out party. I think again when he, that that loss in the tournament, and then again some of the situation you may or may not you eh, a little yeah. iffy. Yeah. But this was the one that got him refocused on his talents. Yes. Now we back to the raps. Mm -hmm. So again, he'll be another one on the show this week. But uh, <laughs> get on the show. You know Keep plugging the show. The tell no. tell them where they can find you at. Oh tell man, Mr. Miss, Miss check the temperature. Temperature check on YouTube, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, it's Twitter, it's X, it's all of that. Follow me. I follow you back. Follow but. I'm really excited for Muwa. I, I want to see him versus Tex. All right, so uh, we'll keep moving, man. More. So now we move there past that to some of the bigger name battles and some of the bigger, uh, bigger artists on the card, man. Yeah, John John versus Sirius Jones, man. John John versus Sirius Jones. When I tell you, uh, yeah, hats off, all that. I mean, three days prep. Three days crazy work. man. Both of these guys went crazy. I'll start with Sirius Jones. I said it on the stream, mm -hmm. and I said it to him, and I'll say it again mm -hmm. on here. Say it again. I, I, you know what I mean? Uh, respect due. You know what I'm saying? I get, the, the, the Muslim Jones, it was in a bag. You know what I'm saying? Hindu Jones, Muslim Jones, <laughs> Aki Jones was was T T. He, he was on his chops. <laughs> he was he was he was hibachi style. You know what I'm saying? On uh, John John, a uh, great John John too, man. Like. This John John was in something about the trenches. So I don't know what it was. He must have knew something to take that battle. But you know what someone was telling me last night? I do believe this. I said, they always say when you know you're going to battle somebody or you got somebody that's on your hit list or somebody that you thinking that you want to battle one day, it's good to start tucking some stuff away. Because a lot of that okay. felt, now, I'm not saying they wrote early. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying that if I know that he going to be somebody that I battle one day, he might have had a little something in the mind because the material was so great. And even if it wasn't, they just came up in three days and remembered it in three days. Shout out to John John and Sirius Jones Classic. Man. I think what happened was once Verb said, I'm out, I'm I'm done with this. I'm getting out. Easy call. Easy was upset, right? He was in his room, he was upset. And then he saw his phone ring, and it was John John. He was like, mm. <sighs> He answered the phone. John John was like, listen, I already got two rounds ready for him. So mm -hmm. what you want? What you want to do? How much? Mm. Done. You know what I'm saying I feel like that's what it, I feel like John John had that clip waiting because he came out the gate with the multiple choice. I did not steal your multiple choice, but bro, I, we forgot about that. But you <laughs> reminded us about that, so all right, then let me know. Not only that, John John was clean. Now usually John John is is he's one of the most consistent. I, I rarely see John John slip, stumble, slip, yeah. stumble yeah. choke. And for th in three days prep, you could have did that. Mm -hmm. You could have did it, and we'd have been like, oh, it's all good. You know, it's three days prep. Not me. John John <laughs> was all focused all three rounds. Right. The thing is, John John had a doomsday device. I don't care what none of y'all niggas say. Yeah, he had it. He always wanted to tuck. He just had to polish it. Mm -hmm. For Jones, Jones had three days to have some John John stuff, and you could tell in the beginning round, like in that first round for Jones, mm -hmm. he had a lot of stuff that he had for John John. You could tell, like y'all had some shit for each other. Y'all just wanted to make sure it looked good for us. Thank you for that short notice, though. But I really feel like in that first round for Jones, as cooking as he was, that was his most direct round. Mm -hmm. The second round for Jones, it felt verby. It felt a verby. Like it felt like certain things, but because John John is also in. Somewhat the same clicks, like because John John's cool with Hitman, he can use a lot of those things to mm -hmm. to kind of cater towards John John. Third round, I felt like it was all it could have went to anybody, and I'm not mad at any of that for mm -hmm. Sirius Jones. If I go by who won the battle, I give it to John John 2 1 because he was the most direct. Mm -hmm. And for him to be in such a short notice, Sirius Jones could have been sitting on that the whole time. But Jones definitely showed up and showed out and elevates every time I see him. So keep it up, Jones. Ten is on you. No, man, I gotta agree, man. I gotta shout out Sirius Jones, man. Somebody I've never actually seen performing in person, so it was my first time actually getting to hear him rap, man. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a situation where John John might have won the battle, but I think Sirius Jones wins the war. Yeah. I think you gotta give a lot of credit to, to Sirius Jones um, for being able, to, being able to switch gears like he did. Even if some of that 
material, you know what I'm saying, could be a little a little general. Mm -hmm. Um, but a lot of respect to John John. And and not just John John in this moment, you gotta think about him having the frack battle, him having the coffee battle, what he's already done, like with bullpen running that, what he did with the community, do the black male voter project. Mm -hmm. He has all he's encompassed all of that in the twenty twenty four. Mm -hmm. He's having a hell of a year. Yeah. So um, you know, uh John John to, to show up and to have a battle like that versus Sirius Jones on short notice, you know what I'm saying, it was definitely a thing. Uh, Sirius Jones being able to prove people again, you know what I'm saying? Sirius Jones has done this for years. Well, I've known him since way back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Battling Mook in a barbershop and, you know, ending Jin's run when he was on 106 and Park and the DVD era and all of that. So I've been new about Sirius Jones forever. We've known that. Yeah. But we live in a what have you done for me lately society, you know what I'm saying? What has Sirius Jones done lately to deserve me to feel like he's going to win this battle? What has he done? He hadn't done it. He hadn't did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's had flashes, but one singular performance where nobody's going to be able to question anything that he did. That whole, uh, the, 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 it's past words and when I, if I move four dots, you're going to see, like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's past yeah, words, yeah. you see four. Man, Jones, I got you. Hold on. Don't you, don't you even worry, motherfucker. I got you. I got it. It's the same joint I posted last oh, the night. Screen, like, yeah, yeah, come yeah, on, screenshot, son. The screenshot, the screenshot. And I think that Jones deserves that. And like I said, I told him on camera. I said, yo, I think that this is one of your better performances in recent memory. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get to it. No, right. absolutely. Jones was in the bag. Not the Zodiac. I had a crimson pulled up in Harlem. What? Nigga, I got kicked out and was in love with a Taurus. Not the Zodiac. I had a crimson trace on the top of a blue bean. The Matrix Green, we got them in stock. If song blocks are rust, I don't got no safety is how you talking. But if I feel triggered, my block iPhone locking stuff. That mean if I don't recognize your freckle face, it's past words. Four to six shots pop up. I told you. Yeah, you deserve that. So Jones, Jones deserves that. Jones deserves that love, it's man. Bad. I gotta it's bad. Up for Jones, it's man. not. It's not. It's not one of those situations too, where you know, with this series, Jones, you didn't know what you was gonna get, and he's another one of those unorthodox rappers, mm -hmm. where you don't know what Jones you're gonna get, mm -hmm. but you're not mad at the Jones you get, cause Jones hasn't been. Let's let's review the last few battles. Him versus Tay Rock, it wasn't a bad Jones. It was. Everything that was encompassing around that was happening in that battle for Jones. Uh, when Geechee. With Geechee, same situation. Yeah, it was extra, but Jones was still doing good. But because he was so extra prior to that, everybody was on Geechee's side. Uh, Jones versus JC. And Jones was cooking. But only thing niggas was talking about was that nasty mink coat and that dirty hat. Mm -hmm. that, it, everything that encompasses around Jones. So even, to, even last night, Jones was rapping. But you couldn't get past the point of wait, this is he on his dean? Like, did you just take a did you do your shit? Like, we don't necessarily know what Jones we was gonna get because I thought because he was garbed up, I thought he was about to be like, bless you, my brother. I don't even want to battle. I just want to let you know that I, you know, I have I love for you and I want love for the people. I thought he was about to do some wild like that. But with a performance like this and this not being on a major league, this opens up a lot of opportunities for Jones, and I want to not disregard that. Mm. This was a league, you know what I'm saying, up and coming league, of, obviously a league that's on the rise for sure, solidified at this point, mm. but him going to a nine URL, now RBE, so now you can think about other leagues, other platforms that you can go to, go make money and really, and really showcase his talent, because in the building, mm -hmm. it's electrifying, you get away. Just the rapping, mm -hmm. it was electrifying. Yeah. It was electrifying in that room. So shout out to both of them, man. Three days prep. Yeah, oh, overall, I guess for the last, you know, for the last final thoughts, you know what I'm saying? As far as the battles, all of the battles were, were nines, tens. For the most part, I mean, you know, Ill Will's performance definitely uh, left a lot to be desired because when you're thinking of a battle of that proportion and that magnitude, mm -hmm. it's a main event after a whole car where every single other battle has pretty much been good or rewatchable because mm -hmm. my standard is rewatchable I'm never going to see this shit again and most of the battles on there have been rewatchable you know that's what I mean so to have a battle like that and to get for ill will to get talked to like that that second round was on some loaded lux you know what I'm saying yo your dad couldn't fly through the friendly skies type mm -hmm. shit like he's telling that nigga why that shit didn't make your mind you big meat backup singing ass nigga like he really was like really like ringing his collar letting him know like you they don't give a fuck about you so what would you think they do to us you let your brother sign that contract like that was kind of fucking crazy he was definitely talking about will fit he's like bro you don't even i understand not dressing up for niggas but what about, about the bitches? Bitches? I was like, I just, I'm sorry my bad so, yeah, it came to my mind you gotta take that do-rag off <laughs>
was going crazy <laughs> he on was that coming. nigga, bro. Like I, I ain't seen yeah. Will get talked to like that in a minute. Yeah. Look where you, look where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Then he told him, he said, you went to a league that when he's like, he said it was like real son. You went to, you left URL and went to an established league. I left and went and built one. Like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. So here we go. Takeaways. Who gets the performance of the night? Easy. I, I, He's a black captain. Okay. And King one a one 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 two for King. Mm -hmm. Uh, three for Jones. Four for John John. Five is a lot. Of the trench is called. Yeah, you know Me and this nigga gonna play for you. Yeah. I mean, like, the, I, AC, yeah. the AC the AC thirty. The AC got <laughs> Sorry. The AC got uh, okay, so that's the, damn it. So if we if we gonna do that, then um, battle of the night. Us versus AC. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a third. That's another third. He got body. They asked why I got a vest on. I was at war. Yeah, I was at war. What the do you mean? Listen. I'm a veteran. All right. Battle of the night, you got Texan Riggs. Yes. My, my, John, my. John, John, and Sirius. I, I, yeah, I think I'm going to go with John, John, and Sirius. Because two battles in the night on one card is crazy. It's though. crazy, though. Mostly it's unanimous. All right. Um, and I guess um, the, 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 the last in, the, you know, who had, who had the, the, the last and final impression? And it, to me, it's easy again. I would say easy to black captain simply because of what went on, what was going on, having to run an event and then be the main event on the event, then having to show up with three rounds of material. You know, his rounds was easily forced, four and some change mm -hmm. from when I was timing. It was yeah, four plenty. fifteens, mm -hmm. three three fifty eights, and all type of crazy mm -hmm. shit like that. Four nines, and then with the crowd reaction, and then Will like. I think Will after the first round, he kind of knew he didn't have enough in the fire in the tank to compete that night, so mm -hmm. it was kind of like. He coasted, and then in the third, he was like, yeah, man, you know, he knew after the first it was pretty much over. He's getting 3-0 chance in the bottom of easy second round. That is crazy, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Tim, I'm about to say, who, who had the, who was the most impression, the most you got out of it? It's easy. Yeah, easy? It's yeah. easy. He made, the, he made the shot. All right. He made the shot from a league owner perspective, from a marketing perspective, and as a battle rapper, what more you want? Last question, who gets the L for the night? Is it Bill you. Will or you. is it Hollow? Can't spell ill will or holler without ill. Without the L, then so they both have been thinking. So we gonna duplicate these and we gotta, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all both get the trophies, you know what I'm saying? So take us home, man. Oh man, you know, shout out to everybody out there for watching, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Check Temperature for stopping through, you know what I'm saying? He definitely pulled up to the event, show support. Shows a lot of support to all of the Battle Raps events. And a lot of the artists, you know what I'm saying? New artists, y'all wanna get in contact. I want somebody that's gonna talk to y'all, gonna take the time out. It's good to interview, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we don't know who a lot of you motherfuckers are unless somebody really takes the time out to interview. And guess what, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all are proving it, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, I'm not even gonna go holler at it, who's gonna fucking, that's gonna talk to you, you know what I mean? Ain't got the time, you know what I'm saying? I got kids, this is what it is. <laughs> I don't got time to do this one but I ain't got the time to do it. So talk to somebody who's gonna be able to check mm -hmm. your shit out and then when you move up, you know what I'm saying, as you progress in your career, you can be like, yo, it's good to be somebody, I spoke to this person, I spoke to that person, mm -hmm. I interviewed that person, I interviewed that person, this person, that person, you know, interviewed damn near everybody there. And I think that's commendable because most of the people that he interviewed, I ain't never even spoke to. So that shows you what you gotta do to get to different levels and that works in all frames of mind. So, you know, I think for the younger guys, a lot of them did their thing, and I was happy to see them. But overall, man, like I said, to me, one of the better battle rap feelings that I've had in a while. You know what I'm saying? I'm, we did all of the recaps today, and you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get them out. And shout out to everybody who watched it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. But, man, I salute to all the subscribers. We out of here. Gang, 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 gang.